So if you're using Google Sheets and you want to figure out the number of days in between two dates, there's a simple function to do it. And by simple, I mean there's only two inputs and you can't customize the output at all. So it's pretty quick to learn, but there are a few things that you can do right with it. And there are a few things that you can do wrong. So we'll go over that. Let's say that the end date is um, March 1st, 2012. And one of the things to notice is that I'm putting the dates in quotes. If you're typing the dates directly in instead of using a cell reference, you have to do it that way or it won't work. I use a comma to separate the two values. And the second thing you might be noticing right now is that first it wants the end date and then it wants the start date. So this function is built, in my mind, it's built backwards and you have to keep that in mind too. So the let's start it on whatever, April 1st, 2011. And you should close it up with the ending parentheses. And there, 335 days. So that's the days function in its simplest form. One thing to keep in mind is if you want anything other than days, if you want months or years, I would use the date diff function. So that's D-A-T-E-D-I-F. But that's not what this video is about. So we're just going to do days. So let's go over a couple other scenarios and some common mistakes. I'm going to delete that. We're going to go up. I have some things laid out. This is using the days function with cell references, which I'm guessing you would usually be doing because you have dates in your spreadsheet. And you're trying to figure out the difference. So the first one starts in 16, goes to 17. It's a year and one day. And again, I had to put C7 first, even though that's the ending date. Uh, this second line just shows you that it does take slightly different inputs. As long as Google Sheets can translate it into a date value, it'll do it. So you can use dashes or you can use slashes, either one. But some common errors that you can get, one is the pound sign and value, an explanation point. That's saying, hey, at least one of these isn't a date. So I can't tell the difference between the two because I don't know what you're talking about. But Google Sheets doesn't know what the other day is. You could type in here yesterday. You could type in here uh, September 1st, 2010, but misspell September. All of those are going to give you a pound value. And if you hover your mouse over it, it tries to tell you what it means. It says, hey, it expects a number value, but that's text. If this really was a valid date, Google Sheets is going to see it as a number, but it's not. That's the same thing I'm doing in this next row where uh, there's no such thing as November 35th. Uh, you can also get a little hint of that because it shifts it to the left a lot of times if it's not a valid date. So if you type it in and you notice that one of them's left aligned and the others are right aligned, it's uh, Google Sheets isn't seeing it uh, as a date. And then the other error that you can get is that Google Sheets is saying, that, well, both of these are numbers, but this number can't translate into a date. Dates are stored in Google Sheets as serial numbers, but they don't go this high. So for example, if I were to type in 42,369, which happens to be December 31st, 2015, and type in enter, it can evaluate this function. Now you might say, well, how can it subtract a date and a number? How does it know that, how can it figure that out? Well, this December 1st, 2015 is also 42,000 and something, but it knows that it should display it as a date. So underneath Google Sheets is always turning dates into numbers. This number happens to be in the range that makes sense to Sheets. So that should cover all of the ways to use the days function and again, just use it if you're trying to figure out the number of days between two values. If you want anything more complicated, probably use the date diff function. And Google Sheets also has a function that's just called minus. And this will do the same thing. Minus and then put in the two values. It'll give you the number of days in between them. So I hope that was helpful. And now you fully understand the days function in Google Sheets. If you want more short little tutorials on Google Sheets, you can subscribe to my channel in the lower right-hand corner. Thanks. Bye.